going on, guys? What's going on, guys? Famous last words, but I'm going to uh, try. I spent this whole time uh, trying to get Final Fantasy VIII Remastered to play on a way I could capture it, but I I had to do it through my driver specific. I had to do it a different way because the way the game is set up, because they're retarded, and apparently SquareSoft lost the source code to Final Fantasy VIII somehow. So it's like a somehow that they just took a like a one of the old PC versions and just like ran it through an emulator and then built off of that. So it's like a remastered version of a copy. So it's just I mean, might as well deal with this while I'm dealing with all the other bullshit, right? Anyways, so um, I finally got that going. So I'll, I'm going to play Final Fantasy VIII, and and I'm going to study intermittently, and I'm going to finish setting up. It's getting pretty good. I'm almost all the way set up. I just have to. I'm going to have to actually throw away some of the shit that I thought was important. Like, I for the life of me cannot think of why I thought it was so important to like have all these extra plastic bags. I mean, I remember thinking to myself that. I'm going to need them as soon as I get rid of them, but I don't think I need that many. I have so many plastic bags. I don't know why I have so many of them. I just don't. For the life of me, I can't think of it. Like At the time, I know I thought it was super important. Just at this moment in time, I can't remember why. Anyways, look. This is probably my favorite uh Tiffany iteration so far. This is from I took a screenshot of this yesterday. And then she just gives me her number and starts talking to me on WhatsApp. By the way, this is from give or take September of 20 or 21 okay so when I say like I can verifiably prove that Tiffany's been stalking me for years this is what I don't understand why wouldn't like back then like I was like we should start dating and then she was like oh and like ran away and shit I was like okay so like what the fuck it's 2023 fucking <sighs> The other thing, uh, I don't understand why she's been trying to control me financially, but I will tell you that I have a witness who can, I don't even want to say anything. I have a, I have a witness to everything. I'll just say that. And I don't want to say anything else. Because I still have to get things set up. But there's just no need for any of this. It's just stupid. I should have just kept working two jobs Back in September. None of this would be a problem if I just were to work two jobs for another month or two. None of this would have been a problem. So I'm just going to go back to doing that. Uh, my big plan for today is I'm going to... Look, this is going to sound odd. Like, as much as I really enjoy eating, like, gourmet hamburgers on the weekend and fancy salad, steak tacos on the weekdays... But going over my budgets and like the exact same amount of money I've been saving by smoking bongs instead of $75 joints multiple times a day. It's basically just gone to like eating steak tacos and gourmet hamburgers. So I have to go back to like either A, cooking my own food or B, like just eating like packs of ramen and beans and bacon and shit like that because I just don't feel like it. <coughs> but that's exactly why. Mm. Gross. I need to clean that bong. Bullshit. <laughs> I paid that bill already, so I'll just use it. I should. I was looking for this earlier because I was going to use it to wipe my ass, but I'll use it for that instead. Um. Okay. I really. No, like I really save like those receipts. You know, they're like after you pay this taxes, you don't forget to print out your copy of the receipt. I print out two of those, and then I wipe my ass with it. Seriously. I don't give a fuck about paper cuts. I'm like, oh, taxes that I'm forced to pay, otherwise they stick me in prison. There you go. 
put it in, down the. <sighs> Back when they used to have to make you pay taxes uh, in person, like these, like I had to go to the county a few, few times to like pay the taxes in person. I would, I would like wait until I had to take a shit, and I would like hold it while I was in line and all that bullshit, and then I would pay my taxes, and then before I left, I would go to the public restroom in the tax office, take a massive shit, and not dump it, and not, not fucking flush it. I mean, I would wipe and wash my hands, but I would not flush it, and I would, uh, like, most of the time, it would be, like, sticking out of the toilet water, good, because those offices are, are small most of the time it's like you want my 57 dollars that bad you're gonna have to deal with me taking a shit it's like that once oh man i shouldn't talk about it i was i had to do a weekend in jail i had to do a couple of things in jail to get in stupid bullshit the the system is set up to where if you're useful you can and should get everything on your record cleaned. I don't know why anyone with a competent brain wouldn't, but let's just say I had to spend some time in a lockup for a minute. It was actually pretty gross. I don't want to get into it because it, it's pretty gross. We'll just say that. But anyways, so one of the ways, and I don't recommend you doing this because th this could easily get out of hand. Like, again, like, uh, uh, do this at your own risk. Kind of, we shouldn't even be in this position in the first place. But like, one of the first things I did to make sure that I got the remote control when I had to go do lockdown uh, was I took a massive shit and I didn't let anyone flush it for like until like I thought it stunk. So like, if I think it stinks, you totally think it stinks, right? So like, uh, then I picked the top bunk that I wanted. Uh, and then uh, they literally gave me the control. And then I made everyone watch NCIS and shit like that. And then in the morning, I left because I got what I needed. That's all I'm going to say. But I'm glad it didn't take much longer than that. Probably because everyone kind of like, look. So after I took a shit and there was one motherfucker who was like, I guess supposed to be like in charge before I got there or whatever. He was like, yo, man, you need to flush that now. And I was like, no, I don't. And he like looked at me, and I was like, and you can't flush it either. And I just went back to like watching NCIS. And like they were like, I want to watch Han Someone actually asked me if they could watch Hannah Montana. And I was like, no, you cannot watch Hannah Montana. Shut the fuck up. And we're watching NCIS, right? And then like, when they had gotten to the point, like, I thought it stunk. And then they were like, they were like, please, dog, can you please flush that? I was like, okay, I will flush it because you're asking me nicely. I don't want to be unreasonable. And I flushed it. I was like, thank you for asking me politely. And I flushed it. Thanks, I didn't want to seem like a bitch after flushing it. And they asked me too politely. I was like, started shadow boxing and I started doing like solid punches like on the brick wall. It was like concrete and whatnot. I just landed like solid punches and combos and whatnot. And like, it shook. Like, the guards came by and were like, you need to stop doing that because we can hear it. And I was like, okay. And then, like, I just watched NCIS and shit like that. And everyone was like, okay, listen to him. So, I don't recommend you doing that. But, uh, that was one of the ways I got everyone to basically give me the information. Like, they, they like, they, like, just gave it to me. I didn't even asked them for it they were like hey did you know that this that and the other thing by the way this person that and that other one that and by the way it's all because of this and i was like oh that's how it works well count me in and then in the morning i was like yeah i can leave now it's totally done what was i talking about i'm gonna play final fantasy 8 and then i need to go for a walk later because man i just fucking it used to be that I would eat, like, a steak taco, and I would still be hungry, but now I eat, like, half a steak taco, and I'm kind of full. So, like, I should probably just, like, get, like, smaller packs of food and shit like that. And I have a rice cooker now, so I could eat rice, I guess. So, I don't know, like, rice and maybe, like, steak or chicken.
Whatever. I'm gonna bring like my backpack. I'm gonna fill it up with like oatmeal and noodles and shit like that, and just and maybe some energy drinks. It's probably cheaper than just walking to CVS and buying everything twice as much. Whatever. But uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna just slowly finish setting up everything, just a little by little. You know, tapa tapa tapa. It's gonna be awesome. I have the TV that I was using as a monitor, the other TV that I turn into a computer, and then I'm going to put one of my laptops there. And the worst case scenario, if I fucking totally did fry the circuits to the point that they can't hold an operating system, they can still be extra monitors. But, but yeah. Then I have those other computers. I might just build a new computer, to be quite honest. I was thinking about building my own, like, uh, hypervisor, because technically, I got a bunch of processors and a bunch of video cards. Uh, I could just ask a bunch of other things, but... Yeah. There's all that. It's already Sunday. So, just all that bullshit, but, you know, bug bounties, uh... Something about AI, I don't remember, man. It's just bullshit. I was watching cartoons. You remember cartoons used to be awesome? I was watching, like, Ulysses and Stargazer, Masters of Orin, and all that bullshit. Like, yeah, Dag Debrimi, and... It's awesome. The cartoons now suck. Everything now sucks. And I'm not just, like, saying that, because, like, you know, I'm getting old. I mean, like, everything nowadays totally sucks. It's just, like... It's not it, cool. It used to be like you know, like a secret. Like, oh man, that guy's cool. Like, holy shit! But nowadays, everyone's like, it's cool because we're all the same. No, you fucking moron. It's just retarded. Everyone's retarded. Everyone is just brainwashed by TV. So then there's that. I'm gonna go get brainwashed by video games. So I think I wanted to talk about something else I just do not particularly care look uh, I know that like other people have to like go beg for money and like sell out and all that bullshit and they get kind of like butt hurt that I don't and I know a lot of people like look uh, the reason, again, I said it before, saying the reason why I don't fucking give a shit if people talk shit about me is because, like, I go through, like, every week I go through, like, another background check. I'm not even going to lie. Like, look, if, are you, if, if you're getting paid, like, $200,000, you know, in chunks, you know, to, like, monitor someone's whatever the fuck, they're, they're going to make sure, like, they can, at the very least, track you down if you do anything stupid. Right? That's basically called due diligence. Okay? Um, oh, yeah, those stupid hags are fucking... <sighs> Look, half the reason why I keep telling people not to, like, post pictures of themselves and all those selfies and to do decent you know, upgrades and two-factor authentication and all that bullshit is so you don't have people stealing your ID. Uh, and apparently these stupid hacks are having people, like, steal their IDs or whatever or try to make fake profiles of them. Which, look, anyone could do that. A kid could do that. It's like the oldest trick in the book. It's like, do you, do you want to do this fucking a pain in the ass? And then you have to, like, keep up with it. It's stupid. It's, it's like skitty shit. But like, the fact that it is now getting to the point where you know, Tiffany fucking Huang's stupid ass friends are finally starting to think logically about security and shit is exactly why I do the shit that I do. That's why I'm in as high demand as I am. And they all want the shit for free. They can fucking suck my taint and lick my balls. Bullshit. Everyone wants something for that. Wanting is is free. Like giving requires something. Stupid fucking cunts. But look, I will like I don't even know how or why. Like to me this was like 
interrupting me while I was playing Skyrim. But I don't even want to understand. Like, Tiffany just is just like... At this point in time, she's like like an Oni. I think that's what they call Onis or Kappas. Like demons that like haunt you and like you can't get away like she's like a she's like I don't want to talk about it okay so technically I didn't delete my tinder because like tinder was like it's uh, deleting it you can just put it on hidden I was like yeah well, sure whatever and because I don't want anyone to see me on Tinder. Because I don't even use. To, I want to remind everyone I had deleted my Tinder and stopped using it because I thought that some people were being kind of aggressive on Tinder and it was making me feel a little uncomfortable. And it turns out that that was all Tiffany. Uh, they were like demanding, very demanding that I do things, and I was like, I don't want to do. This doesn't seem. Why would anyone do that? for you it seems stupid you must date some losers no <sighs> so I just like stopped I was like this is crazy I'm gonna go back to only in person shit anyways uh, what was it what was I just talking about I do not remember Oh yeah, okay, so, what was it? I don't remember what her number was, it might still be blocked, I unblocked a bunch of numbers the other day, because I was like, I don't even remember who they are, but, Anna Kate started like, gushing over me and shit, because like, her Instagram account got hacked, and I like, unhacked it for her, or whatever, like, in passing, so apparently all you have to do is like do that and they'll like get wet and shit but I don't, know. I don't even I didn't even care I was like trying to play Skyrim the stupid hack kept fucking blowing my phone up it was really annoying but um and like I was trying to like be polite like cause you know you, you have to like politely shatter someone's worldview. stupid bitch just drank the fucking Kool-Aid on the Jesus shit I don't want to get into that but uh. It's like Tiffany has drunk some Kool Aid on whatever. Like, she seems like she's trying to get me in a cult. What she calls having a crush on me, I call proselytizing. She's very much like missionaries. You know, like, oh, oh I'll be back later because you know, Jesus and I love you, and all that bullshit, it's like, no, like, the problem isn't that I won't conform to your worldview, the problem is that you are crazy, the option for you to not be crazy, and just relax, and shit has been offered a bajillion times, and you have clearly only interested in trying to make me crazy, so that's not just not gonna happen, don't know what to tell you, but like, this fucking, I'm not joining some shitty cult, is all I can tell you, but, um, yeah, you should totally get into cybersecurity and all that bullshit. And, you know, ideally the plan is to you know, have those fucking, what is it? Come on, hurry the fuck up. You fucking, now you want to... AI's, AI has temper tantrums, apparently. Okay. <sighs> Asshole. What the fuck's taking us? Thank you.
Okay, so. Again. A do oh, my glasses are over there. It's fucking bullshit. I'm almost done anyways. I should have been done already. So, like, you can use AI for more than just, like, you know, figuring out ways that Tiffany is culpable for her bad decisions. But, uh, yeah. Step one, research and select a trading bot that supports Kraken and Williams percent range indicator. Okay, I don't want to tell you specifically which one because I don't want people to fucking get mad at me. And this is not investment advice. This is like what I asked. Like, I already know how to do this shit, but I was like, I did this so you assholes will like understand how to use AI. And I'm not showing you because I don't want to get fucking sued by anyone for some stupid bullshit. Not, not investment advice. Okay, as an AI language model that cannot provide specific investment or financial advice or provide step-by-step -step instructions for connecting a bot to Kraken or executing trades. However, I can provide some general guidance on the steps involved in connecting a bot to a crypto exchange like Kraken. Kraken because it's backed by the state of Wyoming, the bank of the state of Wyoming, okay? So, which has made gold and legal, eh, gold and silver legal currency. So worst case scenario, if crypto goes to zero and you're investing in Kraken, you will get your... Their fiduciary responsibility is to at least pay you in their currency, and their state currency is silver and gold. So you're guaranteed to get something if you bank with Kraken. Anyways. Research and select a bot that supports Kraken in the Williams Percent range indicator. Create an API for your Kraken account. This will allow the trading bot to assess your account, access your account, and execute trades on your behalf. Connect the bot to your Kraken account using the API key. The specific steps for doing this will depend on the trading bot you are using. Set up your trading strategy using the Williams percent range indicator. This may involve adjusting the indicator parameters, setting buy sell signals, and setting stop loss take profit levels. Test your strategy on a demo account to ensure that it is working properly and generating profits. Begin trading with real funds, but start small amount. Carefully start with a small amount and carefully monitor your performance and risk management. Oh yeah, so that's what it was. So, okay. I didn't do anything. You guys can remember specifically, someone asked me a question because like, I made that video years ago now about uh, how you can do that thingamajiggy that can give yourself a poor star cock. You can add anywhere from three to five inches uh, in length and, and width to, to your cock for like ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. Then everyone asked me, I did it because like I was trying to explain to people that you actually don't, probably don't want to do it. Like, uh, you you have to kind of wonder why some women would be so into the amount of pain they would experience from an object that is like basically designed for a horse, right? So you kind of have to ask yourself that question. But without going into all that crazy bullshit, no, I never, I never got it. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely open to it. Like, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, like. A perfect example of this would be, like, getting it and then fucking Tiffany and the asshole with it as a punishment for being a retarded hag, okay? Like, that's one of the reasons why I could think about getting it, right? And then, like, get it removed because it doesn't need to be, you know, fucking a foot, a foot long and now it's just going to fall in the toilet every time, right? But anyways, um, but, um, so... This is what I mean by grifters and people are stupid and public opinion and all that stupid bullshit, right? That basically was... In that video, I said that that thing was invented for people who are born with a deformity known as a micropenis, which is when you have no shaft, only the head. It's basically fused to your pelvis, and it's under two inches. So that was designed to give you a full, regular cock if that happened to you, okay? But, because people are, you know, like, it's a form of body dysphoria to want bigger tits or a bigger cock. It's just what it is. The trans body dysphoria is just like, you like, 
just is just like level two of body dysphoria, right? Everyone on some level has a body dysphoria, right? In that same video, I was talking about that book called The Adonis Effect, how like what would be considered beautiful in the Renaissance, because we have paintings of then, would be considered ugly now and shit like that and vice versa. So the Adonis effect, like it's subjective. Uh, uh, then basically, as what I understand, a bunch of those stupid e-thoughts who, I mean, yeah, sure. I would have fucked them because they're totally hot. Then they kind of got fat and ugly now. Basically somehow took that to mean that I have a micro penis or whatever. In that same thing, I was even talking about how like if you start losing weight, your cock's gonna hang more and all that bullshit. Okay. Then basically, um, I was like, I know what they're doing because they're all vapid and uh, uh, low IQ. Be not because they're dumb, but because they spend all their time on social media, and uh, you know they're all about not just looks. They care about what everyone else thinks. So basically, they had started, they had come to the conclusion that I must have one of those, which is not true. Then when it, stupid Tiffany coerced me into showing her pictures, like I don't, she doesn't have pictures of me naked, but you can definitely see pictures of my cock in, the, in some of the pictures she has of me. You can like totally see the outline of it, and you can totally see that it's not micro at all. Um... And then a bunch of those stupid hags basically got mad and started like working. I'm telling you, they formed like a, 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 a fucking group of, it's really odd. Like they're stupid. It's really stupid. It's like, heaven forbid someone actually have one of those. That must be really tough. Because again, like at the end of the day, I was still getting laid and all that bullshit. So I didn't really give a shit. But, like, that is some mean shit, if you think about it. What if, like, damn, it's kind of a good thing that thing was invented. And the funny thing is, all those bitches are now single moms. So, hmm. The other thing is... I don't want to get into it. Like, that means Tiffany... Tiffany's just really, really, really crazy, okay? Tiffany somehow thinks that her emotions and her hormones justify criminal activities. So, on top of that, I don't want to get into it. She... She has a plan. I already know what her plan is. I'm expecting her plan to happen soon. But, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, this dumb bitch. You know what's better than not having a plan? Not getting in these situations in the first place. Okay? My plan is to not do this stupid shit. Alright? I don't know why your plan is to constantly do stupid shit. I'm just gonna say that. But, like... I guess the joke's on all of them. Because, like... She like I hate to say it, but like she demanded that she still wants pictures of the full ass butt naked, but I just stopped playing that game with her. But like no, like when she got a picture of my how do you do, it's like you could hear like a through the ether, you could hear all of the e thoughts yelling, Fuck because, like, what it is, is, look, how does shit like that happen? Beta males simp for them. End up becoming, like, their producers, their managers, you know, shit like that. Okay? The ones who are desperate enough for attention end up marrying those people. So, in no way, shape, or form do they want you getting close to them. That's why they make up bullshit about people all the time. And I say that because, like... The only way losers like sneakers and shit like that end up getting, you know, popular and shit like that is they have to sell out to some level. They're never, ever going to let someone actually popular get popular because that's their way of trying to get laid. The same way that Dr. 
whatever the fuck, psych hacks was talking about how like romance is some shit that was built up so that way dudes who didn't have money could get laid in the middle ages. Same thing for streaming. Streaming and all these companies about YouTube are ways for dudes who would never ever get laid to start to get laid. Because it's all an illusion. Because they can use glitter and filters and all that bullshit. And the woman thinks to herself, well, I'll get my own show. Well, I'll get some attention. And then I can leave his ass for someone else. And I'll be the one with the, t- with the attention. And it might work because there's a bunch of betas out there. But I wouldn't touch you if you had a kid. I don't, w- don't want to tell you some, look. Some pretty famous and attractive single moms. Or moms who want to be single have pretty much been like, yo, what if me and you, I leave my husband for you. And I was like, you got a kid, bitch. You got to take care of your kid. With Smash, not going to take care of your kid. That's all I can say. It's 30 minutes of me rambling about all that bullshit. But like, yeah, no, this is why you do shit in person. Because you can be like, oh yeah, nah, it was just cold that day. What do you think, think about that? I'm telling you, it's why you do shit in person. Anyways. As a matter of fact, look, I don't even want to go into it because those bitches were ugly as shit. But I hung out with some of the dudes from the war room because I was trying to encourage them to do some real life shit and I give all their money to the Tates and all that bullshit. And actually, one of them, I fed a bullshit lie about some secret space program bullshit just because I knew that they were going to go back and report it to them. And it just, it was fucking hilarious. But the ones that I went to the bar with and whatnot, and whatnot they can vouch for it. I don't even try to pick up bitches. If I go to a bar... I will get a drink and sit there, and then three or four girls will approach me, start to insult me, and call me names. I'll completely ignore them, because I'm not trying to play into their bullshit. Then they'll come back and, like, beg me to go home with them. And I'm like, okay, I'll go home with you, but why don't you talk to my friends, because you're kind of ugly. That's basically what happens. And then they were like, how did you do that? And I was like, the secret is, just do whatever the fuck you want to do. Don't worry about it. Anyways... So, I'm going to go do other sh- I'm going to play Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, and then I'm going to walk to the store. Yeah, so get some noodles and oatmeal and shit like that.